Hi there. The purpose of this video is to show you how to print progress reports at the classroom teacher level. Before you print progress reports, you definitely want to check with your principal to make sure they're not printing them in the office. There are steps to do that, and some teachers or some schools may elect to have it done that way. If you're printing them in your classroom, there are two ways you can do it. First, you can print them individually as we always have done in our classroom for our individual classes. Or second, you can print progress reports that show how students are performing in every class all in one fell swoop. Here's how. First, go to Power Teacher Pro. Once you're there, over here in the Charms menu, you want to click on Reports and then Individual Student Report. Now, once you get here, you can select the criteria and the formatting to meet your needs. If you're ready to go ahead and look and print, you can select which classes to go to. The thing is, if you select every class, it may tell you that the report is too large to print. You can play around with that and find out what's best in terms of what meets your needs. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to use this one class here. If you have a study hall or, or a homeroom, you may also elect to print the reports in that fashion so that you can distribute it during those particular times. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that the include students full schedule box is checked if you wish to include the full schedule on the report and print it one time. I want to demonstrate that first. What you will do then is make sure that the sort options are correct however you want and make sure that the information that's being shown is what you want it to be. Under data areas to include if you're sending a report that shows every class that a student has then you'll want to make sure that you uncheck the assignments because if you do, if you leave that checked, then it's going to pull a list of every assignment that the students have had in the course, which is going to end up making the report overwhelmingly large, like seven or eight pages per student. So this view where you're showing the report for, for students in every course uh, is, is, going to is going to be really as an overview for how they're doing overall. Also, you want to make sure that you select the date range. Right now, we're in quarter one, so it's going to default to quarter one. Later on in other quarters, you may need to select this and decide which category you want it to show. Um, and you can play around with that as well if you, if you wish. For now, we're going to go ahead and run this report. Bear in mind that it may take a very long time for these reports to run. I'm not sure if that's associated with the timing or not, but just know that if you are running the reports, you may want to run them at the beginning of the day before or maybe even a couple of days before we're ready to print them. Okay, so now we're going to go to the report queue and access the report we just printed. And now you can see the report. Now here's the thing is once you pull up this report it's going to have four sheets of paper or at least four sheets of paper per student. You can see the student's name up here and you want to measure this but in the, in the examples that I'm using here it's showing that the progress report is four sheets once you factor in all of the classes. Now this is for a high school schedule. If you teach elementary school I'm not sure how long the report would be so you'll want to know how many pages the report is for each particular student. You will need to save the report onto your desktop or onto your computer. You click the save icon. I'm going to save it to the desktop. And now it's saved. Now I'm going to open it in an easier format using Adobe. Once I've opened the report, I'm going to click on the print icon. And then I'm going to go into multiple. And I'm going to click on four. And what this will do is it will enable me to have four sheets per page. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you this is pretty small, so it may be more practical to do two, and either if you have a front and back option, you can use that, or you can simply staple two sheets at a time per student. And this is going to be one way that you can c greatly condense the amount of pages that you will be printing the progress reports. Uh, once you're done with that, you go down and hit the print button and it will print these reports. Then all you have to do is separate them and staple them. It will be very similar to the process that we used to use with the old system. If you would like to run the individual progress report the way that you've always done it in the past with the old system, where you show just a more detailed look at your individual course, then make sure that you uncheck the Include Students Full Schedule box so it's only showing your class. And then scroll down here to where it says Areas to Include and select Assignments and then whatever else you want 
in terms of those assignment criteria. And then scroll down and click run report. One thing I do want to point out is that if you click separate report by student, it's going to save these as a zip folder. So you don't want to check that box. Really, you never want to check that box in my experience. We'll scroll down and hit run report. And then we'll access the report in the report queue. And there you have it. Now the report shows not only how the student is doing a more overall view, but also individual grades and, and comments on individual assignments in your course. That's how you print progress reports.